Pisces, welcome to Sending Spiritually. My name is C, so this is going to be for March 12th through the 17th. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, which means not all the messages are going to resonate. And if you'd like something tailored specifically for you, the information for that is in the description box below. If you notice, I do have a join sign, so I am rolling out memberships. The first tier is Orion, which is only 99 cents. The second is Andromeda, which is $6.99, and it gets you two written readings every month for each zodiac sign on the 15th and the 30th. Just be sure to check on the community tab um, each month at the end of those nights, and you'll be able to access that. So let's see what you guys can expect. The Magician. Also, happy birthday! Oh my goodness, it is your season. This is the time for you to manifest, so it only deems right that the Magician is the first card that comes out. Four of Wands, High Priestess, the Strength card. Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords, the Empress, and the Fool. So you embody all 12 zodiac signs within yourself. With the High Priestess, you're somebody who has a strong intuition. Not only is your intuition strong, but you also get major drown downloads in the dream state. So with the High Priestess being here, anytime you don't follow your gut um, and you stray in the wrong direction, you end up regretting your decision in some way, shape, or form. The magician is here to show that it is your season, so whatever you manifest around this time, you'll be able to bear the fruits of your labor, most likely within seven to eight months from now. Um, but for some of you, that time could be sped up. So the magician is here. It's time for you to focus on stability, home, marriage, uh, partnerships, whatever you hold near and dear to your heart, maybe even children. So it's time for you to focus on celebration and just celebrating who you are and how far you've come. You've overcome a lot of obstacles, and with the high priestess being here, there's still good things that are yet to come. So if you feel like your life has been difficult up until this time, it's for a purpose. It's so that you can gain strength and resilience and build character, and the only way that you can do that is sometimes by experiencing things that put you in rock-bottom energy. The Two of Pentacles is here to show that some of you are having a hard time managing your finances, or there's just some sort of imbalance that's keeping you from really living your true potential, while others of you, you're just simply juggling two people, um, and you need to make your decision about who you're going to choose or which one is going to be beneficial for you, because if I am talking to a Pisces male, I am seeing the Empress energy, which is sometimes a mother who has children, or just an Empress who is a woman that embodies all four queens, the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Wands as well. And then the High Priestess is usually my mistress. So if someone needs to make a decision, the best decision that would be involved here, if it is someone that's already committed, it would be to pull away from the mistress, just because, you know, starting a connection without ending one, it is a form of bad karma, and I wouldn't want that to happen to you. So with the Two of Swords, some of you have a decision to make between left and right. Um, just wait, give yourself time and be patient. You don't have to make any rush decisions, especially because it is your birthday season. They want you to focus more on you, your own wants and needs, what's going to make you happy. If there's anything that you know that has been keeping you stuck and bound, those, um, I was going to say leashes, those things that have been keeping you stuck, they'll now be undone and you'll be able to start brand new beginnings, but you will have to take a risk. So if you've been complacent, Really just wanting to be in the energy of comfortability that's going to have to change at some point in time because I do see a new beginning coming here. While if you were, you know, thinking of conceiving or having kids, the Empress is the energy of pregnancy um, because I said that as a mother. While some of you are having possibly even sleepless nights or just a hard time sleeping because I feel like there's something that's changing as far as your um, arcadiac rhythm. I don't even know if that's a term, but that just came into mind. And with the Two of Swords, this is like, some of you um, changing between like night sleep and sleeping during the daytime. So there's just some sort of shifts that are happening. But for the most part, I do see wishes being granted. You having at least a good time on your birthday and you know things going the way that you'd at least hope that they would do. Your family is also going to be celebrating you. If they're not doing that, um, this is like your soul family, maybe just friends, people that are near and dear to your heart. With the Eight of Pentacles, there's someone who has been manipulating you or trying to kind of portray that they're putting in work into the relationship or the connection and that's not happening this is a father it's like a father that kind of puts in work towards their children but not really so they're not all the way a deadbeat but they are you know just the type of man that would put in the bare minimum there are some things that are keeping you stuck and you are going through a healing process the fool is here twice to show that you're going to have some sort of new beginning that's presented to you but in order to do that, you have to heal your heart so that you can see those opportunities when they're available to you. Some sort of secret is going to be revealed as well. 
this secret is going to be something that comes suddenly and unexpectedly. You're not going to um, anticipate it. I mean, because you're seeing this reading, I feel like it could kind of spoil the surprise. But for the most part, um, this is something that you're not expecting. Some of you are showing up as a privileged lady. If you're a man, this is, you know, the privileged male. You're someone that has high spiritual ranking. So anyone that sends any type of weapons, spell work, um, jealousy, envy towards your way, it's going to ricochet right back to them. And also, this secret has something to do with an expectation that you may have had. So, for example, if this secret is someone that's cheating, um, you kind of expected this individual to behave um, rationally and just to give you that loyalty and respect that you deserve, but they haven't done that. Um, but if it is a good secret, it could be something as far as like finding out that you're pregnant and that you're going to have a new opportunity in some way, shape, or form. Let me continue on to see why is the strength card here. We have the Five of Cups. So some of you have gone through a lot of dark trials and tri tribulations that may have even started during childhood. Um, this is all about disappointment, regret, remorse, grief, um, changes in your life that you don't expect that create a lot of you know destruction. But this is something that's going to help you grow. And you also have to think about the fact that you can't change what has already happened. So dwelling over that is mostly just being in the energy of crying over spilt milk. And that's something that you have to work on as well. With the Two of Pentacles being here, you're moving forward towards your destiny fast and furiously. Some of you are trying to bring your family members and your friends along the way. And the chariot, as you can see, only has one seat. The only person that you can bring is yourself and your kids. And you have to walk away from self-sabotage. Because some of you, you actually sabotage yourself before you can even get anything off the ground. Especially creative-wise, where you talk yourself down out of it. Or you just feel like you don't have the potential to get to where you can be. Um, and like I said, this is the time to manifest. So whatever your dreams are, start putting in work every every day, slowly but surely. And you'll have some sort of empire after an, an amount of time. I also see like mushrooms and nuts um, as well as flowers here. So you buying yourself flowers and keeping just things like that in your home will help you feel better. Because I feel like you manifest with nature for the most part. So being outside, having your free, your feet in the grass, being around trees is something that can also help you clear your energy if you just feel confused. Because I do see an element of you being a bit unstable. So if this is not financial instability, it's just instability within yourself that's being reflected in your environment. So if you know like things have just been a bit messier than usual, or you know, you just haven't been feeling like yourself, go outside, Go take a bath as Pisces, being in water, something that helps you as well. So go in the beach, the lake, something with water, and it will help you out tremendously. As the Nine of Swords is here, it's like you needing to get out of your head, overthinking, sleepless nights. Because um, there is an emphasis here with just time zone changes. So I don't know who that's for. Someone could have moved, you know, over a distance and they're having a hard time catching up on sleep. But the Two of Wands is here to show that there will some there will be some sort of traveling, whether it's by car, air, train, whatever it may be, boat. But some sort of movement is happening. And you also have to work on your addiction. So some of you, your addictions are like overeating, over smoking, over stressing yourself out, putting yourself in the energy of like walking on pins and needles. And sometimes you can be your worst enemy. So the restrictions that I'm seeing here, it's not really other people. It's more of yourself. So you are the only thing that's holding yourself back from the life that you truly deserve. And I feel like once you do realize that, you'll be prepared to take this leap of faith and to take those risks. Um, because that's what it's going to take for you to be able to gain the success that you're looking for. Otherwise, you'll always just feel unfulfilled or feeling like, you know, something's missing in your life. And it's because um, your soul knows that you're supposed to be doing other things. But, you know, you could be having some distractions or just things that are preoccupying you. And you'll be able to work through that during this season. Let's see anything else that Pisces needs to know. Anything else that Pisces needs to know. The chariot, exactly. You're moving fast and forward towards your destiny. You cannot take your family members and your friends with you because they are not on the same path like you are. As the high priestess, once again, these are two major arcanas. I cannot make this up. With the high priestess, you're some type of like spiritual teacher. You could even be a tarot reader like me, um, but you have some sort of special tie to the divine and the occult. And the more that you tap into that, the more you'll have success in your life in general. Because if you already know how things are going to play out, 
then you can use that to your benefit. And some of you, you just have a hard time trusting yourself and you end up regretting that in the end because let's say you meet someone like the emperor and at face value, this person gives you bad vibes. And instead of you paying attention to your gut, you decide to give them the benefit of doubt and they do something that could potentially hurt you, maybe your feelings or even physically. But as the emperor, you are in control of your own life. You need someone who is mature and grown. It looks like all the other people that you've been attracting so far have just been either immature or they just want they just want to manipulate you with your emotions. They want what you have. And it's more of like your gifts. It's like people know who you are just by your energy signature. And some people are jealous just because of the kind of heart that you have. So you have to be careful of who you have surrounding yourself. But as the Ten of Cups is here, I see overall emotional fulfillment and happiness, at least for your season um, or for the 12th through the 17th. And as the King of Cups, you're going to be very much in your power, sitting on your throne. This is someone who's not only spiritually mature, but emotionally, mentally, and physically as well. You have a lot to offer the world. Um, if you've been wanting to have some sort of family unit and that's one of your wishes, I feel like your wish will be granted. It's just going to take time. And you have to be careful about who you're giving your time, effort, and your money to. Um, because sometimes you attract controlling people who you expect to have the same heart as you. And in the end, they end up dogging you out. So if you want to avoid getting stabbed in the back like this with the Ten of Swords where you basically die and have to be resurrected in the Phoenix energy... You have to pay attention to those red flags and pay attention to that intuition because it's never going to stray you in the wrong direction. The King of Wands is here to show that you either have three potential love interests or you just have three people that are attracted to you. These could be three males uh, or three females, but it's showing it as males. So the King of Wands energy is like a player. This is like the type of man or woman that has holes in different area codes. We have the Emperor, which is someone who's more of like a father or mother figure, someone who's ready to be a husband and ready to be a wife even because they've gone through all those phases and they figured out what they want. And then we have the King of Cups, which is someone who can take care of you and nurture you emotionally and give you that happy family, but they may not be able to provide for you financially if, you know, they just haven't leveled up in that way when it comes to money and resources. So be careful of who you're investing time and effort into. If you're single and you're simply just paying the fleet, playing the field, then just let everybody know, you know, what they can expect and expect the same for you. So if someone, if you feel like someone's stringing you along, it's because they most likely have other options or they're not that serious. The best thing to do is just listen to your intuition because it will not stray you um, in the wrong direction. Let me get another um, deck. We have Judication. Some of you, there's some sort of court case that's going to happen with great fortune. We are around tax season, so this is also about unexpected income that can come in and change a lot of things for you. So if someone is coming in to court you, um, I hope they're doing it properly where, you know, they're making you feel like you're the official person, you know, treating you with this respect, decency, um, treating you like the the way that you deserve. You're the official person. So as family room is here, you can expect to be around your family a lot. Um, to see a lot of equal give and take with your family members, especially if there's been a rift. I feel like that's going to be put away at least just for your birthday. And with change, there are changes that are coming. So for some of you, if, you, if you've been single for a while and just wishing and hoping for that family unit, especially just having your own kids, some sort of changes is coming in the future. I feel like with community here, you are also in a lot of people's mouths for whatever reason. I just feel like you just don't care and you're so unbothered that it bothers other people. Just keep doing what you're doing and know with distance, um, if there is something that you want that seems to be a bit far away, um, it's actually closer than you think. And remember how I said there could be some unexpected money coming with great fortune? Well, here it is. It shows up again. Be sure to spend this money wisely. It's okay to spurge on yourself, but also save for a rainy day. So that's the end of your reading, and I hope you like it, and have a good rest of your day. Bye.